Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Mess and welcome to the more chill side of YouTube. So today I'm going to make uh, fan-made cards in Dragon Ball Legends as well. But first, before we get into that, let's check out some of um, some art cards that uh, Vegito has made. And uh, yeah, before we get into the video real quick, uh, make sure to hit the notification button and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Oh, I need to take the sound off if there's any music because of copyrights. Okay, here we go. Vegeta. It's a nice intro, you know. Okay, so right off the bat, we have Kefla here with the Goku in with the rage form. Holy shit, is that. His eyes look mad, yo. Yo, I like that. Also, he, he, he remembered to get. Um, but what is. I mentioned it as well. These black mist, the bars here. You remember to get that in. That's a nice touch, you know. Okay, so I remember he 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 wrote that he got free. Oh, is that is that Goku? Holy shit, he's buffed out. Oh, you know that's the Goku that the uh, Ryan mechanic badger. That's uh, Goku that he despises. He can't stand him. He just hate hates uh, the fact of Super Saiyan Goku in Vegeta's armor. So yeah, oh, I'm gonna like this video. Okay. Go like this video, guys. He puts effort into these videos, so yeah. Oh, we have one with Samazu here. Oi, that's actually awesome. Like we need Samazu. I, I mean, we already have him, but like merge Samazu. I mean, oh my God, that could be awesome. And yeah, he remembers to get all the mist in this black Boris. Oh, so this one is on Facebook. Okay, I don't know if he made it himself then, but it looks awesome. I like the fact that uh, you can see Jiro and the Grey in the background as well. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, shut up Alexa. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Sorry for that guys. Uh, but yeah, um, you know what? Let's get into uh, the Photoshop ones. Today, I will go into, I'm going to make Omega Shenron. So yeah, let's check this out. First of all, as we always do, let's get the background in. And as always, when I scale this up, it gets a little bit more pixelated. But it shouldn't be any problem because I'm also just going to get a blur on it. So yeah, I mean, as always, you can just see this as a, what you call it, tutorial, I guess. <laughs> so we go into the Gaussian blur and it remembers the settings from the last one, but I wanted to bit more blurred. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I can see it needs to get a bit bigger. It's cool with me. Uh, and here we have like the main thing, of course, Omega Shenron. He's also a pretty cool character, despite his origins from, you know. <laughs> okay, so I mean, I really want to get him in like full here. Like that? Yeah, I reckon that will do it. And I will just quickly remove the background here. So let's just take this. Because I don't like the background, even if it's just for a preview, I don't really like it. So we need to exclude this bit right here, and this bit in the corners. It's not too bad here actually, it's not too shabby. But I mean, we'll remove it anyways. Oh, oh shit, I'm sorry, I need to invert that and then delete it. That was my bad, that was actually a pretty new move. Okay. I really need to remove this, I can see he has this and his spikes. But yeah, this picture is actually really great quality. Yeah. Okay, so I have an idea for this one actually. I want to get this, these Dragon Balls here. Oh, they're not perfectly round. I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a difference to what I want to do, so it's cool. We need that one as well. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. I mean, I want to get all of these uh, Dragon Balls and just make them spark a bit. So now we have... How many do we have? We have these. I'm gonna just invert them real quick. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. So let's get all of them real quick here. 
Yep. This one is nice and round. This this one was good. Let's get this one here as well. And then we need the last one. The icing on the cake. Okay, so now I need to see how many of them it was that I have right now. Those, I believe, that's right. Yeah, that's all of them. So I am going to put like an outer glow on these ones. So for the color, we need the blue. Oh, and that is big. It doesn't have to be that big. I mean, something maybe like this. Maybe even like a different color from that one. Maybe more light. Yeah, light blue. I mean, that could look good as well. Yeah, you know what? I actually, I actually kind of like that. I mean, maybe just a bit more white. Oh, that was a bit too much. There we go. A little bit bigger. I mean, that does something. I think that does something, yeah. It definitely, yeah, that looks cool. I like that, you know. Okay, so let's get some key in here. Because obviously, he needs a power up here. And this needs to be white, in my opinion, as well. So I'm just going to make it black and white. We need to be very much in focus here. Transform. Just a bit. Just a bit. Because he's high as well. I think... I think that does it. Okay, and as always, get the mist in. I already have this from the last one. Get the black mist in here. And maybe some of these sparks as well. I mean, they just look so cool. And this one needs to be blue, I reckon. A bit more blue. A bit more prominent. Darker blue. There we go. Yes. I think that that's good. Yeah, I, I kind of like it, you know. Uh, ba, ba, ba. And then put sparking in. I'll not put sparking in just yet. But it will come. So I will go to After Effects and edit this and see how it goes. And here we go. Now we are in After Effects. And right off the bat, I think we need some lighting in here. They just look way too awesome. So the way to do that, we go and search for key light 1.2. Put it over your layer here. Click it and it gets transparent. Oh, it's because I have. Okay, no mind. I have this over, so uh, I'm gonna get that one in as well. I have two lightning effects right now that I want to do. So uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. The first one, the top one here, is like a circle, and I just think that looks that looks awesome, you know. So let's scale that down just a bit. Put it over him like that. Yep, and then we need the one going straight down. To be, I think I would think we need those to be on the side, like that. Yeah, maybe two of those actually. So copy paste this and put the other one up here and make them a bit more separated so they don't follow the same path. Yeah, that actually that actually looks looks nice, you know. And now we need to get some Dragon Balls in this. So let's just get them into our composition here. Uh, all of them, oh, they are very, like, large. Okay, I need to scale them down a bit. This is the first one. And we can just put this here. This one, let's just, let's just put them random places. Okay. And this one needs to go a bit more oh now I'm not changing the size of that there we go and we want to get this to levitate because it's just an awesome effect and I like it so we take position here at a keyframe go a slightly slightly forward and re 
yeah, rearrange that to that point, and then we just copy paste. It's as simple as that. Like for uh, not Photoshop. I mean, generally, like the Adobe package, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, After Effects. I mean, there's so much many programs. They're all actually pretty simple when you first get into them. Right. But now I will need all of these keyframes and add them into this one. So they. Oh, that's the wrong one. My fault. Oh, and there we go, guys. I just had to take a break from it uh, because it was bugging out a bit. But uh, yeah, I think that's the, the finished product. So um, yeah, let's go check this out. <laughs> 